paying for prostitutes? Absolutely not, says Italy's Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi, pictured here with his grandson. That's what he told Italy's key magazine, owned by his own business consortium, delivered in typical Berlusconi style. I have never paid a woman, he said in the interview. I never understood what the satisfaction is when you are missing the pleasure of conquest. Another day, another scandal for Italy's embattled prime minister. It all started when his wife of 19 years, Veronica Lario, filed for divorce last month, accusing him of consorting with minors. Allegations that made news far beyond Italy's borders. But then came Spain's El País newspaper, publishing pictures of nearly nude women allegedly attending a party at one of Berlusconi's Sardinian villas, though Berlusconi himself was not in the photos. The prime minister successfully sued for invasion of privacy, the photos now banned from publication in Italy. In a recent interview with CNN, Berlusconi dismissed the scandal as a political plot. In the face of an accusation of this nature, I will react. I will explain exactly what the situation is. I will still have the Italians on my side. And once again, this accusation will act as a boomerang against the people that have started it. But now the prime minister faces allegations from Patrizia Daddario that she and several other women were each paid to visit the prime minister's homes. And she says she's got these photos taken in Berlusconi's house and a recorded conversation to prove it. Throughout the scandal, Berlusconi has maintained high approval ratings, but is this one step too far for Italy's notorious prime minister? This woman says, as an Italian, I am ashamed, and I believe that he should resign right away. It's a further indignity for those who didn't vote for him, this person says, but it has only increased his popularity among his followers. A messy divorce and naked pictures? That might be enough in some countries to force leaders to resign, but not, it seems, in Italy. Atika Schubert, CNN, London.